where are all the sellers? Oscar, I don't see them, do you? Oh, wait, I think I see one. Oh, no. Let's take a look at this month's market update. See if we can figure out what's going on. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Denise Gerke, a real estate agent here in Vancouver, Washington. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get a reminder every Tuesday when I post a new video. Now, I want you to stick with me for a minute while I go over some of the numbers. I know, boring. But after we get through that, then we will get to the good stuff on how it affects you. So for September of 2020, we only had 893 homes on the market. And honestly, I have never seen numbers that low. But wait, it gets worse. So 33 of those homes had contingencies. And I'll explain that in a different video. Um, but that brings us down to 860 homes on the market. But wait, out of those, 156 of those were new construction homes that were in the process of being built, but they weren't ready to be occupied yet. And then of the rest of those, 154 were just kind of in the planning stages and um, they weren't even, the construction hadn't even started yet. So if you've been following along with me and doing the math, that gives us 550 homes that were for sale and ready to be occupied for the month of September. And that's only um, a two week supply of homes. So basically if no more homes came on the market, we would be out of homes in just two weeks. What does this mean for you? Well, if you're a seller, that's great news. That means now is the time to go on the market. And let me emphasize that a little more. I mean, now is the time to go on the market. Homes are going on the market in all conditions and they are selling typically within 24 to 48 hours. Of course, if they're priced correctly. If you are overpricing your home, it is going to sit there. Buyers aren't going to want to look at it. Um, but now if you've been thinking, oh, I want to put my home on the market, but I just, I don't have time to fix it, or I just, I don't want to fix it up right now. It's the time to do it. Of course, you got to have to price it accordingly to not being, you know, updated and fixed, but you would be able to sell it. And that's great news right now. So what does this mean for you if you're a buyer? Well, it means you need to have a game plan. And I would say number one priority with that game plan would be to have a pre-approval. You wanna to talk to your lender and make sure you're pre-approved. If you submit an offer and it does not have a pre-approval letter with it, they might just look it over. Um, a lot of homes are getting you know, five or more offers on them and they're gonna look at the ones that have the pre-approvals first. Hi. <laughs> um, then you also want to make sure that you've done a little research. You know, did the sellers need a few days of rent back so that they can move and get into their new house? Um, you know, do they want to keep their refrigerator and their washer and dryer? If they do, don't ask for those things. So it's just really important to um, you know know what the seller is looking for and you can just make that best offer. So of course money does speak, but it doesn't mean that, um, it doesn't mean that the top money offer is going to make, um, it doesn't mean the top money offer is going to be the winning bid. Um, they're gonna be looking for people who are willing to work with them. So sometimes they'll take a lower offer if they have somebody who's more flexible. Well, I hope you enjoyed the market update. And if I can answer any questions for you, just leave them in the comments below. My information is down below if you want to reach out and ask me um, any questions directly.